Hello guys, it is Dolphin here, here, and today we are going to see if we can beat Resident Evil 7 only using a uh, circular saw. Now, this challenge was hard as balls, and I'm not saying that because, I, I don't know, I'm not saying that because it was hard, well it actually was, it was hard, super, super hard, and... Uh, I'm not gonna regret that. Um, it was really hard because I did this all on Madhouse mode. And Madhouse mode is the hardest difficulty in the game. And I, I, I thought like, oh, I can beat Madhouse mode only using a circular saw. And that's what I did do. I did beat Madhouse mode only using a circular saw. I did do it. But it took some trial and error and I did fail the challenge a few times. But we'll get into that later. So let's go. So after meeting Mia, and well, you know, Mia going haywire, things took, uh, uh, things took it south, and it became super hard from there on out. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, it just really became super, super hard. Like, you'd have to see it to believe it. Like, freaking hard. And now, I'm not gonna lie right here, this part where you have to fight Mia right here, I'm not gonna lie, I died to it once, and um, that's because I was new to the Madhouse mode, and I did die to it once, not gonna lie. Um, and that was pretty aggravating, but uh, I, I did die to it, and I'm not gonna lie. So after Ethan gets his hand chopped off and crap like that, and he gets chased down by Mia, this is the part where I was really considering whether I should do Madhouse. Because this beginning part was hard as balls. Like, when I say hard as balls, I mean hard as balls. It was so ball-bustingly hard. I wanted to consider maybe just uh, not stopping the challenge, but setting it to normal mode. But this part, I didn't think I should stop the challenge just because this part kept on killing me over and over and over again. Like, the only reason I beat this part is because I unloaded so many bullets into Mia and then used the axe in order to kill her fully. It was such a freaking hard part. It made me so mad and angry. This part was so hard. I did not like it. But I knew that if I, in order to proceed forward, I have to do this part. And I knew that if I got further into the game, I knew that I couldn't have gone back in order to switch the difficulty mode to normal. Because, like, dude, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to repeat the whole entire game and switch it to normal and crap like that. And get to the part where I used to be in order to, like, you know, play through the entire game. I'm not going to do that. So, I, this is where I was like, alright, I gotta beat you Madhouse mode on Madhouse mode. But it was so hard, this part. I hated it. So hard. I did not like it. It's freaking terrible. So, at this part, this part uh, was also very hard and made me very mad because Jack runs out freaking, like, he runs out, like, I, 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 I don't know, like, he runs freaking fast. Like, I mean fast. Like, he's just freaking fast. Like, super fast. Jack is, like, fast and he would every time I'd run away he'd catch up to me and I'd end up getting hit and killed by him which was very annoying um did not like uh but uh, I ended up working with it so that's good and I got past it so that's pretty good also now this is the part where we get to the first jack fight and this part is fairly hard because the keys are locked inside of a box. In order to get the keys, you need to go get the keys. Uh, I mean, not keys. You don't get keys. You get a lockpick out of a little dresser thing. And uh, that's what you use in order to get the keys out. And I would get the keys out, but then when I did defeat Jack, uh, Jack actually stole the car, got in the car, and he ended up crashing it himself. And, uh, Jack actually ended up killing himself, and I didn't actually kill him, uh, he's actually the one who got in the car and just drove it into the thing. So I didn't really, I just had the keys in my inventory the entire playthrough, so that was it, really. 
and that's the first jack fight. It was fairly hard. I died like a few times, but nothing too bad. Uh, nothing really too important to explain. <clears throat> All right, now here we run into our first problem. This is that Jack shoots himself with the gun, but my hand was on the gun also. But I didn't shoot the gun. That was Jack's fault. Jack shot the gun. But after you, after Jack shoots the gun, you still have a full ammo mag. So I don't know if you guys want to count it, say that I failed, something, blah blah. blah. If whatever you guys want to say, like I failed the challenge, I don't know. I don't think I failed the challenge yet. I think I should just keep on going. But who cares if you guys say that I failed it? I guess I failed it. But let's keep going. So after the Jack fight in the garage. I ended up going to the basement, and I ended up starting the jack fight with, uh, in the basement. Um, this fight wasn't too hard, actually. I thought it would be much, much harder, uh, because, like, jack speed suddenly. I don't know. Well, uh, jack speed is, is because it's on madhouse mode. But this fight wasn't too hard, actually. The circus saw actually made it fairly easy you see, as you can see right here you can see how fast I took down Jack with the circular saw and then immediately got to his second phase and I was actually surprised this is when I finally learned that the circular saw is highly overpowered and that this might be an easy run but I was still in for a treat so we'll get to that later on though so after the whole Jack fight and everything Literally, basically nothing, legit nothing, cool or fun happened, like, after the jack fight. I got outside, I roamed around this the house that they have outside, and literally that's all it was. Literally, I just roamed around the house, gathering up all the stuff, gathering up everything, so I'm, like, prepared and crap. But legit nothing happened. It was so boring. I'm looking at the footage now, and I realized, wow. This is boring as hell. Legit, it's just me roaming around a house. It is so freaking boring. So let's just get to the good juicy bits, I guess. Now, uh, this is the part where you finally meet Mia again. And Lucas, uh, Lucius, or whatever the hell his name is, uh, grabs her. Uh, I, I thought I'd put this part in just because, um... I don't know why I put it in, just because I thought, I don't know, you want to know about this part. But, I've run out of clips, actually, and I have to end the video here. I'm probably going to upload another video right after this video, because I don't watch, uh, I don't want you guys to, like, l like, look at the end of this video and be like, man, this shit is boring. I don't want it to be like that. So, I'm going to be uploading another video right after this, and it will... Yeah, include a ton of fun stuff, I believe. The Marguerite fight, stuff like that. A ton of fun stuff. So that'll be fun. Alright, so let's move on.